good afternoon everyone good afternoon i hope you all can hear me and see the screen properly yes each one of you i hope it's 100 percentage clear the screen properly yes, yes. thank you so each much one of you i hope it's 100 yes thank you so much yes this is a large lecture on the chapter microbes in human welfare and today we will be discussing about two new topic that is microbes as bio control agents and microbes as bio fertilizers these are the two different topics that marks the end of this chapter ultimately okay those who haven't yet subscribed our wonderful channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe our wonderful youtube channel of bio point stream the world of bio yes right now give me hearts on the screen and click the like button right now this is a amazing telegram group which is a small family of those students who needs a regular discussion polls updates on our classes omr sheet examination making each candidate preparing for neat 2021 ug eligible giving them exactly a pattern on how the exam is going to be so all kinds of motivational lectures talking with us all happens inside this small telegram group which is a small family oftenly of very few members at biopoint new so those who wish to join you can install your telegram and you can join at this particular group if you want to become in contact or touch with us if you can clear your doubts yes so this is our final topic we have right from the beginning classes itself we have divided the chapter into five not five six main topics the topic number 1 and 2 that is household products and industrial products we discussed in our lecture number 1 sewage treatment and sewage treatment and uh, biogas production we discussed in our lecture number 2 and the last one that is and the last one that is bio control agents and the bio fertilizer we are going to discuss in our lecture number 3 so let's start with this topic bio control agents what do you mean by actually bio control agents that we are going to discuss what do you mean by bio control that is a fresh and new term most of you might be hearing so what do you mean by actually bio control bio control is a use of biological methods for controlling plant diseases and pests guys instead of adding or instead of using chemical fertilizers insecticides etc we are using certain biological methods to control the pest for example this is very important the lady bird which is the beetle this is the lady bird it controls aphids dragon flies control the formation of mosquitoes dragon fly controls the formation of mosquitoes so this is an example of a bio control agents okay these two are two examples of bio control agents guys now you may ask instead of using all these things we are not sure whether it is up to 100 percentage because this ladybird feeds on the aphids that is why we can reduce by that method we can reduce the number of aphids over in an area by introducing ladybird but that ladybird may cause different other things okay like that now you may ask instead of using like this we could add a small amount of pesticides guys adding of chemical pesticides and insecticides kill both the useful and the harmful organisms and they may lead to pollution so bio control method has no such problems which contributes to pollution into sulfan look at the condition of the child born how pathetic is the situation have you ever seen like this no 
so we have to shift to biocontrol methods instead of using these chemical insecticides and pesticides so first to biocontrol methods we studied the examples over there what dragonfly kills mosquito larvae and also aphids killed by red beetle first one is the bacillus thuringiensis okay that is a bt bacillus thuringiensis is the bt which is the microbial biocontrol agent okay to control the butterfly caterpillar bacillus thuringiensis is to control the butterfly caterpillar okay so the microbial biocontrol agents that is first example is the bacillus thuringiensis which is actually we will study in the chapter biotechnology okay applications of biotechnology we would study this okay so this bacillus thuringiensis is to control the butterfly caterpillar okay this feeds on the leaf right so in order to control you can have a microbe as an agent that is microbial action over there by the bacillus thuringiensis okay next is the dried spores of bt what do you mean by bt means bacillus thuringiensis if you check on the internet you will see the pictures of bt cotton then bt brinjal so for this all the plants having this bt means they are biotechnologically what modified crops or genetically modified crops which is known as gmos you will call them as gmos what do you mean by gmos genetically modified organism so we have a detail about all these things in the chapter biotechnology 1 and biotechnology 2 where we will be studying about each and every point okay so the dried spores of bt that is a bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacteria their spores are available in sacs which are mixed with the water and are sprayed on to vulnerable plants such as brassica what do you mean by actually brassica belongs brassica means the mustard family mustard you would say right mustard mustard family is a brassica then you will have the fruit trees about the detail about the mustard cultivation we have to study in the chapter strategies which i would be beginning today sharp at 7 pm today evening will be starting with it okay next so they are eaten so these spores are eaten by the caterpillar and when this spores reaches the gut the toxin is released and the larvae gets killed scientists have introduced the bacteria that is a bacillus thuringiensis toxin genes into the plant for example bt cotton guys the bt plants or the genetically modified crops will have a more sustainability towards the certain insect or pest against which they are genetically modified second one it is a trichoderma trichoderma species which is not actually a bacteria which is actually a fungi i have already told you when we begin this chapter itself microbe means it doesn't give rise to only bacteria it can be a fungi virus protozoan or a bacteria so trichoderma is seen in the root ecosystem trichoderma species are seen in the root ecosystem they control the several plant pathogens they also act as a biocontrol agent which can control several plant pathogens third one you have the baculovirus is very important question very important mcq very important board question also what is the importance of baculovirus board exam preparing students can also give for this 2021 neat also have to focus Baculoviruses are nucleopolyhedrovirus. Very important. Hundred percentage expected question. Okay, so these baculoviruses are those, especially they belongs to the genus of nucleopolyhedrovirus. It attacks insect and other arthropods. So it attacks those agents which belongs to the class of arthropoda phylum arthropoda. it is suitable for species specific it is specific to a particular species narrow spectrum insecticidal application what do you mean by narrow spectrum 
which you will discuss in detail in the chapter of chemistry of your class 12th. Okay, actually I'll tell you have two types of antibiotics or insecticides or whatever that is you have a broad spectrum and we have a narrow spectrum and we have a particular insecticide named A and we have another insecticide labeled B. The particular A insecticide can be applied to destroy any kinds of insects. Okay, apply to any kinds of insects if it is X, Y, Z or whatever kinds of insects also. The A insecticide will definitely cause its death. So it can be classified under the broad spectrum insecticide. That is, it is not species specific. It is, it can be applied for all the organisms. Next, B, suppose it kills only a particular bacteria or a particular organism named X. Then you will call it as a B is functional against a particular microbe X only. So it is narrow spectrum antibiotics. And is desirable in the IPM integrated pest management abbreviation MCQ question for the beneficial to conserve the beneficial insect. So that is all about the bio control agent. So Bacillus thuringiensis, Trichoderma species and the last one you have about baculoviruses. Next you have the microbes in biofertilizers. We are moving on. First is the root nodules of legume, rhizobium, asospirillum. Don't get confused. You may have to expect a question with this chapter clubbed with biological classification you will expect. What do you mean by biofertilizer? They are organisms that enrich the nutrient quality of the soil. Example, they may be a bacteria, fungi, cyanobacteria. What do you mean by cyanobacteria? BGA, blue-green algae. First is the rhizobium. Rhizobium is actually a symbiotic bacteria in the root nodules of leguminous plant that can fix atmospheric nitrogen. They have specialized cells called what? They have specialized cells called heterocysts. Right? They have specialized cells called heterocysts. Free living bacteria in the soil, for example, Asospirillum and Acetobacter, enrich the nitrogen content of the soil, enrich the nitrogen content of the soil. Clear? Mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza. Symbiotic association of fungi, we studied algae and fungi. So, I am giving you a homework. I hope no one is watching this live. Okay. So, I am giving this as a homework. You have to tell me on the public comment section. On the public comment section. Tell me what is Like What are its 
made up of and what is the function of each part of the lichen what is like let's take it out second the can you its foot can be plants the four plant here a small amount growth efficient so that so crops yeah they are auto stock also as the bio fertilization it also adds organic matter to the soil and increases its fertility that is all about this particular chapter microbes in human welfare so in the first lecture we discussed about industrial and household activities of microbes second sewage treatment and uh, biogas production and in the third we discussed all about biocontrol agents and the biofertilizer so if you have any doubt regarding this particular thing you can come and me on the chat box okay in the public comment section i'll read your comments i'll receive your comments i'll give you reply or else you can ask me your doubt by taking a screenshot of this slide which you haven't understood and you can ask me on the telegram and i'll explain it for you okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe a wonderful youtube channel of bio point stream the world of bio thank you guys see you in the next class with yet another supremely amazing lecture sharp at 7 pm with new chapter for class 12 ne 2021 students with the strategies for the enhancement of food production will together make a strategy on how we can enhance the production of food so again i am reminding you of the homework on lichen i have given you so watch the previous and you will have the homework over there bye bye